Hi everyone, it's Jo from Jo's Scrap Shack. I just want to wish you all a happy National Scrapbooking Day and a happy birthday to me. This is my first birthday blog. Um, it blogs one years old today and I have each and every one of you to thank for that. So thank you so much for being followers and for supporting me. Uh, without you guys, this first birthday year would not be here for me. Um, there's going to be a lot of new changes coming up on my blog this month and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about it here in the video. Uh, one of those first features that's going to be new to my blog is a segment called Ask Joe. This is going to be like a general Q&A session where you can ask me questions and every week I'm going to select two to three questions to answer on the blog. There's a new tab at the top of my blog called Ask Joe. So all you have to do is click on that. It's going to take you to a form to fill out where you'll submit your questions to me. And it's that easy. Um, it doesn't have to be about scrapbooking or card making or any kind of crafts. It could be anything in general. It could be about recipes, health, homeschooling, uh, project life, um, just general interest, family, um, or because we're in the blogosphere of crafting in the crafting world, it could be about crafting. So I feel like this is going to be a really fun segment. It's going to give you guys a way to learn more about me and who I am and what I'm like off the camera and off the blogosphere, kind of, sort of. Uh, the other segment that's going to be coming up that's new is going to be called Fun Day Friday. Every Friday I'm going to post a challenge and you're going to have one week to complete the challenge and um, on that very next Friday we will uh, draw a winner. Uh, there's going to be three top winners, the top three, and each top three person is going to get a badge that they can display on their blog that says I won top three at Fun Day Friday. And at the end of the month, on the very last day of the month, I am going to draw a random winner via random.org of all of the top three participants who won for that month on my blog. And they're going to win something special. It could be anything but from a gift certificate to some paper pads, stamps, whatever. But it's going to be another little incentive to hopefully get everybody scrapping and crafting and making cards and just joining the challenges. Um, and then last but not least, I've had a lot of people email me privately um, regarding my word books and my mini albums. I, uh, I have a eBay shop and I was debating for a while whether to put them up on eBay and a lot of people have told me that I should sell my work. So I do have a new tab at the top of my blog called For Sale. So if you're on my blog and you hit that tab, it's going to take you to whatever is available for sale. As of right now, there's nothing up there. I have not updated that. But um, I will be doing um, my word books and mini albums. And I'm taking special orders for those of you who want personalized word books. Personalized meaning um, fit to the theme, the colors, uh, the papers that you would like to pick out your name or your loved one's name or um, just little things between baby albums, wedding albums, word books that can spell out your grandchild's name or your children's names. Um, so if you're interested in anything like that, please contact me and we'll go from there. Okay, but let's get the party started and let me show you what I'm giving away for this blog hop. Um, I have some really good, nice goodies here for you guys. And all you have to do to be eligible to win is to become a follower to my blog, leave me a comment, and then I would like for you to visit each of the other participants that are in my blog, become a follower to them, and leave them some blog love. They're very talented women. They have some gorgeous projects to share for your inspiration, and they also have some goodies to give away as well. So, with that being said, let me show you what I'm giving away. I have two paper pads here from My Mind's Eye. They're the 6x6 pads from the Indie Chick line. And this first paper pad here is called Citron. Now I'm going to try to get you as close to the camera as I can so you can see these papers. They're gorgeous. They have some pretty oranges and kind of marigold greens and you know some blues in there. It's really pretty. I really like this one. And then the next paper pad is also from the Indie Chick line and this one is called Nutmeg. And this one's got more of your yellows and your blues. Again though this is a very nice pad. The papers are really rich and in color and I actually have worked with this paper pad a lot um, and I have to say that I 
seem to reach for this one a lot. I, I really like the patterns and the colors in this. Okay, the next thing I have up for grabs here is the Cricut Cartridge Winter Frolic. This is a really good Christmas cartridge for those of you who are Christmas junkies like me. Christmas is my favorite holiday of the year, so I go all out. And I'm just going to show you the back and show you some of the images that are on here. They've got snowmen and reindeers, and they've got gingerbread people and all the kids playing, stockings, Christmas trees, baked goods, hot cocoa, the nativity scene, baby Jesus. I mean, this is just a really great cartridge. So, again, if you don't have this, this is a great cartridge to add to your collection for the holidays. Okay, now we have some We Are Memory Keepers ribbons. Um, this is like a royal blue. It says divine. Really nice ribbon. It's double-sided. I got some Amy Tangerine stamp sets for you. This stamp set has a little banner here that says the best. It says pure joy on it. Down here with the little camera it says snapshot. Really cute. So I'm sure you, it's got this nice flower right here. So I'm sure that this could come in use. Really nice for card making. Then I have a single little kite stamp. And then I have some Distress Stickles. Now I have not used Distress Stickles before. I've used regular stickles. So if anyone has these and has used these, please leave me a comment on the blog and let me know how you like them. Okay, the colors in here, if you can't see them too well on the blog, I'm sorry, on the blog, on the camera, is uh, blue, purple, and green. Then I have some K and Company embellishments, some brads, some little hangers, some little flowers right here, some eyelets. They're really cute and they're spring colors, so they're perfect for this time of the year right now. Then I have this big rosette. It's a big flower rosette. Um, this would actually be perfect to put on front of an album to embellish. Um, maybe even a piece of canvas. This is so pretty. Um, these were on sale at AC Moore's. I got these for 99 cents in a bin, picked up a whole bunch of these. And then last but not least, I have the Martha Stewart Scalloped All Around the Page set. Um, what happened was I had two of these. I got one as a gift and the one that I got as a gift I took back to the store because I had this set. But I noticed that I don't use this set. I think I've used this once or twice. So I figured I'd give this away so I can give it to a good home. I'm sure someone out there will have more use for it than I did. Um, scallops are nice, but I, I, I don't know. For me, scallops really aren't my thing. So there you have it. That is everything that I'm giving away. But like I said, please feel free to visit all the other ladies who are in the blog hop. They have some awesome projects and they have some goodies up for grabs as well. And I will have a second winner. I will draw a second winner randomly to receive a random mystery prize. So make sure to please comment on all the blogs. Leave some love. And I hope you enjoyed my special card for the special occasion, my birthday cake. Because I turned one, I decided to make a birthday cake with the number one on it. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by today and have a blessed day. Bye now.